we've got the information that we want on our screen, but we need it in a file so we can open it in Excel or some other program. And the way we're gonna do that is with what's called a CSV file. And there's luckily a module called CSV. So we wanna go ahead and import that. And the CSV file is just a list of all of our variables or whatever we wanna store in there, separated by commas. And when Excel opens that up, it knows that each comma indicates a new item. And it'll reconstruct the spreadsheet accordingly. So it's pretty powerful. And it's an easy way to save data and load it up. So what we're gonna do is we've imported uh, CSV. And now we have to create another variable. We're gonna call it C. And that's gonna be equal to CSV.writer. And this is the uh, function for the CSV to fetch the code that means, hey, go ahead and put uh, whatever we tell it to into a CSV file. And it takes the form of this. So you do CSV.writer, and you do open, and another set of parentheses here. And then you put in the name of your file, whatever you want to call it. So put some parentheses in there, or some quotation marks, sorry. And we'll say uh, mytemps.csv. And then we want to make sure that we tell it to open it for writing. Okay, so the mode here is W. So this basically says, hey, uh, Python, open up a file named mytemps.csv that we can write to. And then because of the way we're doing this, we're going to add another uh, argument here that says line terminator equals and then backslash n. What that means is it tells Excel to that the CSV file is going to contain this little couple of characters here every time there's a new row. And so that tells, hey, not only are the values separated by commas, but each new line is separated by this little backslash n. And that way it can construct the, uh, the spreadsheet properly when it opens. So at this point, if we were to run this, we would open up the connection to Weather Underground save the JSON results and open up a CSV file. And then we would end up printing to the screen, which is not what we want to do. So we need to modify this part of the code to output to our CSV file. And that's going to look like this. So C, which is our uh, variable for the actual open uh, CSV file c dot write row and then we put your open and close parentheses and anything that's inside of this is going to be written to uh, your CSV file and because it's inside a for loop it'll just write whatever we tell it to over and over again for each item in the uh, list that we've like we've done before so instead of printing this, we're going to put this stuff inside of here. And that's going to look like this. Uh, now, one thing that to remember is CSV uh, can only accept one argument, meaning we can only tell it to write one thing. So a way to, uh, since we want to write two things, the way around that is to create a list inside of this. So we'll use the little brackets for list, and we'll put item, actually, let's just copy this, save ourselves a little bit of typing, cut it, paste it in here, and then a comma, and then the other one. Okay. So now what we have is we're writing out a row every time it loops through. So for every single weather report, basically every hour in this list, write a row to our spreadsheet that says, okay, uh, the first item is the uh, date and the second item is the temperature. So we should expect when we open it in Excel to see two columns, uh, one with the date and one with the temperature. So what we'll do is go ahead and run this script and it says finished. And you'll notice that there's no output on the screen because we've removed all the print functions. And there it is, mytemps.csv, okay? 
So what we want to do is go ahead and open that. So I'm going to do show and explore here. And that's going to bring us to PyCharm projects. So this is our, our Python script, and this is the file that created. And if we open this up in Excel, there you have it. There's the information. And I'm just going to insert a, a row here and put, you know, time and temp and highlight this insert chart and we'll do a line chart and there you go so there you have it that's the temperature for the entire day and that's pretty powerful so while this was a long process now that you have this constructed you can go in and change anything you want you could have a second loop here so put this loop inside another loop and have it literally do this uh, for each day in the month uh, run through every hour and you could end up getting uh, weeks or months or years or un unlimited amounts of data and you could chart the temperature over time over a very long period of time where you could say uh, different variables whatever you want and this doesn't have to be limited to weather underground you could do it for any API we could connect in the same method. Okay, we can iterate over uh, the items, the, the list, and over the dictionaries in the same way, whether we print it here or we export it to a CSV, write it out. It's always the same. You always have an API key, almost for sure, uh, unless it's a really basic API that's just completely open, and then you won't need the API key. But this is a standard process for just about any uh, API that you want to use, and it allows you to get data quickly. And we could run this uh, whenever we want, you know, and get a new CSV file. And if we had, instead of the date, we went back to the current conditions, we could run it, boom, open it up, and get information for current conditions, whatever we want. You can set this on a timer, so this script would run uh, every 10 minutes to collect current condition data every 10 minutes throughout the day uh, and then it would append basically the to the CSV file every time it ran and you could leave it running all day every day for the next 10 years and when you open it up you have all this data and you can have this beautiful chart but that's basically how it works and uh, what I'll do after this is go back maybe and spend some more time on individual functions if anyone's interested to give more insight on how they work. So hopefully this helped. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.